and price marijuana. Sixty hey, dollars for dirt. They go for farming. Okay, see, I went and saw that. Yeah. Bro, how was that? It was hella lit, bro. Yeah. Oh, hella lit. We was hella close up to the front too. Oh god. Who all did? Did other people perform? Uh, just like other little OTF members. Oh, like, okay. The openers were really ass, so I don't know. <laughs> how long ago? Like it was after King Vaughn passed. Or? Yeah, it was oh, after okay. King Vaughn passed. Rest in peace. I'm a young boy fan, but I'm gonna still say recipes King of Honest, like bro. I don't understand why fans be picking sides. I'm wearing young boy shorts right now, but I have nothing against King Von. I never met in my life. People be like smoking on that Vaughn pack. <laughs> it's like I'll call that young boy better because I do think young boy's better than King Von. But like bro, he literally he literally died on his bullshit. It's like come on now. Very Von for the condo. He was getting his ass beat. Nah, I fuck with Kwando too. It's like, yeah. I literally haven't picked a single side. I fuck with, I'll li literally put on Kwando, end of story, and then I'll bang some King Von right after and think nothing of it. I don't give a fuck. No, I fuck with uh, Youngboy and Von together and Derek all of them. Kwando and Youngboy about to drop a collab tape. 3860 about to be fire. No cap way harder than Kwando. Stay tuned for my reaction video. 3860. Yes, sir. <laughs> Little shameless plug. Bro, what'd you think of that Nav album, though? Uh, it was pretty fire, bro. Actually, no cap. He kind of surprised me. Top three songs. He Go. came back. He, he, I don't know the names or shit, bro. You don't know names? No. Uh, okay. Kyron can name his top three songs right now. Top three. Go. The Last Mohicans, number one. Number two, probably gonna be the Interstellar with Lil Uzi. Number three, probably features. gonna be, um, ball, oh, it's between Wrong Decisions and Ball and Peace. Is Ball and Peace yeah, the last yeah. song? Yeah, Ball and Peace. Outro, outro. Ball and Peace is fire. I thought that. that's gotta be number yeah, three. Yeah, that's that's three. It usually comes on on my Apple Music radio when I hear it, but I'm usually just driving, you know, just uh, vibe into it. I'm yeah. never really like stop and add it to the playlist type oh, shit, okay, but. Okay. There has been a couple, especially the Luzi club. I noticed yeah, that one a lot. The other one, what was it? Headshot? Kill shot. Kill shot. That one's underrated. Like, I fuck with that one, too, because Nav and Uzi have never made that type of song, at least publicly. They've never released a song where it's, like, some hard shit. They always yeah. be on their melodic vibe shit. So I fucked with the fact that they were trying to release, like, a, they're, a, like they're switching it up. It's so hard. Yeah. They're switching it up. I fuck with that. Because they've kind of been on the same way ever since, like, Wanted. Wanted, like, yeah. yeah. Mellow, like... No, 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 no. So they switched up. They came with Interstellar. You got some 2016 Uzi vibes on there. And then they came in with whatever you said, Headshot or Shot. Uh, kill Shot. Kill Shot. I'd be yeah. forgetting the name. But yeah, that one's a vibe. Nav and Uzi is such an underrated combo. Bro, bro they're crazy. Crazy combo, together. Bro, crazy combo. I feel like Nav and Uzi is, is to what Juice and Thug was. Like Juice and two uh, very Uzi underrated dudes. Too. Juice and Uzi, yeah, but yeah. they were everyone fucked with them together. Juice and Thug, very underrated duo. Same with uh, Uzi and Nav. I, I feel like very comparable duos because they're hell underrated. But like every track Juice and Thug made together are bangers, and you don't even have to like Thug to say that, and you don't even have to like Nav to say that every track Nav and Uzi made are bangers. You just didn't really do that much features either. Only like Young Boy. Uh, he has some features with uh, Clever, that singing guy. And then he did. He dropped Carbo. one with. He dropped Wasted with Uzi. Uzi, yeah. Lil Baby. You know that leak in this bitch. Kind mm -hmm. of Chapo would it? Yeah. I thought he did one with Future. Yeah, Future. He worked with Yachty. Future. Yachty. Yachty. Yeah, Yachty. Trippy. Yeah, I guess he does have a lot of <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, he does a He worked ones. with a decent amount of people. Yeah. And then, even behind the scenes, he has, like, like everyone that he would work Kid with. Roy. Whether it's Kid Roy or mm -hmm. Yachty or Herbo or Thug. He, like, he has, like, maybe one or two songs released with these types of people. But he oh, has gee. so many unreleased. Like, him and yeah. Thug have so many songs. Him and Leroy, him and fucking Polo G, or him and fuck. No, I remember Polo said publicly he, they didn't make the third. He released the rest of them. I don't know if he was capping, but Polo said him and Juice have no more no, songs. No, because there, there was a leak. There was a leak with Polo G. On. Yeah. Well, he was probably he probably counted that one. Polo said that there are no more Juice and Polo songs that we have not heard. So. 
that was it. I mean, obviously he hasn't released some of the ones that have leaked, but that may be why he hasn't released them. Uh, and he may have been, like, he pro- he knows about the leaks. Rap Star leaked before, and he literally said in an interview, the reason he dropped Rap Star is because it leaked and it got, like, a million views in a week. Mm-hmm. So he had to drop it. He was like, this shit, they fucking with it. So he knows his shit with Juice is leaked. He knows we've heard it. It's like, you know what I'm saying? That's what a young boy should do with Nevada, bro. Oh, oh, bro, bro tell that's... me he didn't wait like a month into the hype to drop it. It's a classic, though. It's a classic. He waited so long to drop it, but yeah. Young boy has a lot of leaks he never dropped, though. I thought he wasn't yeah. going to drop Nevada. I was hyped when he did. Bro, yeah. That shit was a fire-ass song. 